Okay, so I wanted to do a little video explaining why I don't bulk when you're carrying a bit too much fat. And the reason for this being is the way a body works is when you eat carbohydrates, they get broken down to blood sugars. Once your blood sugars raise, your body releases insulin that picks up the blood sugars and takes it to its destination. That could be either in your muscles stored as glycogen, or it will be converted and stored as emergency energy in the form of fat. Which one would it go to? However, that depends on you, your genetics, your lifestyle. Basically, you have receptors in the muscle to store glycogen and you have receptors in the fat to store fat. So wherever the, there are more receptors, the carbohydrate will more likely go to. So for instance, if you didn't have a lot of muscle, but you carried a lot of fat, then you're going to have tons of receptors in the fat and hardly any receptors in the muscle. So nearly all the carbs that you eat will be shuttled towards, pushed and converted to fat. So the fat person is going to get fatter because you need to eat tons of food to grow muscle, new muscle tissue. And you're going to have to have a lot of protein, some good fats and a decent amount of carbohydrates to grow that new muscle tissue. But if you don't have that many receptors in the muscle to hold glycogen, most of the carbs that you eat are going to be pushed towards fat. So the bodybuilder that has tons of muscle and say he's just competed, he's got hardly any fat on him at all, has tons of receptors in the muscle, hardly any receptors for fat. So the carbs that he eats are going to be shuttled and pushed into the muscle to be stored as energy rather than being converted to fat. So basically, if you had two, two different individuals, one is really fat, low muscle, the other had tons of muscle and low fat, you could give them the same diet and they're going to react very differently. The lean muscle guy is going to get bigger and grow more muscle. His muscles are going to swell up and fill and look huge. Whereas the fatter guy, the same amount of carbs is just going to go straight to fat. He's going to get fatter and fatter and not necessarily grow any extra muscle. So you need to look at your physique, how long you've been training for and your genetics because your body will adapt and it gets good at what you do and you think the most. So if you train for years and years of growing muscle, you, you get more and more receptors in the muscle and you're more likely to hold more glycogen in the muscle rather than be stored as fat. But the fatter you get, obviously, the more it's going to be stored as fat. So best, how do I combat this if I don't have a lot of muscle but I still need a decent amount of carbs? How do I not get fat? To start with, I wouldn't go above 12-15% body fat. Any more than that, you're going to struggle to grow extra muscle. So stay lean in the first place. But to stay lean, obviously you can't eat too much food. So you've got to get this balance just right. So basically, get yourself down to a reasonable fat percentage. And now you can start pushing more food. But the way you do it is you eat the food when your glycogen stores are at its lowest. When is that? In the morning, because you've slept all night. Say you slept eight hours, it's basically fasting for eight hours. You wake up, your glycogen stores in the muscle will be very low. So at that time, you can eat quite a lot of carbs and you'll all get pushed into the muscle and not converted to fat. The second time of the day when your glycogen stores are low is after training. So as soon as you finish training, you've just burnt all that glycogen out. So you can then have another high carb meal and all of them carbs are most likely to be pushed into the muscle and not stored as fat. When you're just sat around and you're not doing much, you're not burning much out. And if you've been eating enough, your glycogen stores will be fairly full. So it's more likely they will be pushed and stored as more fat. So doesn't it make perfect sense to push all of your carbs or the majority of your carbs around breakfast and post-workout. Split, I would go with half of your carbs for breakfast and post-workout. The rest of them split evenly throughout the day and then on the night time, pull them right back or even cut them out. 
That way you can get away with eating lots of carbs and staying lean, so you're eating more than enough food to grow muscle without putting the fat on. Does that make sense to you? Because, I mean, that's the way I've always done it, and I've always grown and stayed lean at the same time. And like I say, when you get too fat, you get too many receptors in the fat, so now most of the food is going to get pushed and stored as fat, rather than being stored in the muscle or feeding the muscle. So think about that um, before you start pushing copious amounts of carbohydrates around the wrong times of the day. Um, when you get so fat, I mean, it's an excuse for a lot of people just to pig out and eat crap. It's off season. It's OK to get fat. No, it's OK to put a little fat on. It's OK to hold a bit of water retention and bloat up. It's not OK to get grossly fat and obese. It's going to affect your health massively. Uh, it's going to put huge strain on your system. It's going to send your blood pressure up which is gonna put strain on your kidneys as well. It's unnecessary to carry that much weight off season when you've just gotta diet for harder and longer to get that right down into contest shape. So if you stay in reasonable fat levels, you will grow much faster, get better gains, feel better. Your body will also perform better because you're not putting so much crap into your body. And long-term, your health will always also be a lot better. So just give it a thought next time. Um, those are my thoughts on the matter and that's how I would deal with a situation. If you're fat, don't balk. <laughs>